Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eddie St. Hilaire, PPG Team Captain, here with Las Vegas champion and second place comer at ARG Rich, man. Man, introduce yourself real quick. Hey guys, how's it going? Marcel Russell, mm -hmm. uh, PPG team member and champion for a regional in Las Vegas. 9 0 in Swiss in Richmond. Really was what, 14 0 until the final? So 14 0? 13 0 and then the 14th game. 13 and 1? That's yeah. still pretty good, man. All right, guys. So coming at you, guys, with another episode of where I take the best players with associated and known leaders, and I come at you and just pretty much ask them questions, ask them to break it down for you guys, ask them the basic stuff like the mulligan advice, ask them, go ahead, what do you look for on basic turn plays, one, two little combos, and tips and tricks is how to get better at the leader. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about specific builds. Me personally, the builds that you guys ask me, I can give my breakdown as if I were to play against them. But the Bills that I don't play against, like, he plays blue-green. I don't like blue-green. So I can tell you what I see from him, but it'd be better to ask questions like this and coming from the actual guy who plays blue-green versus just me telling you what I see. So without that, man, go ahead and talk to me real quick about this blue-green Vegeta. All right, so the blue-green Vegeta list that I took to uh, Vegas and got first. Orlando, um, too, right? Orlando, I got top eight. With top eight, that's still, that's still a good man. Yeah. Um, for the mulligan phase, I like to save all my one drops that search for things like Majin Buu, uh, Bulma's, uh, the, the Goku's two drop that draws a card. All those cycling cards that get you through your deck faster, but also build up a board. I like to always keep those in my hand. Um, and after, like, turn one, you always use your searchers first, which is your Bulma. Don't use your Buu first, because the... You thin your deck out of a card that Boo could accidentally search and take away from the Bulma's. So you want to resolve the Bulma first. Search for whatever energy you need for the next turn. Like if you need to set up uh, Goku for the next turn, which is green, you search for the triple strike chunks, green energy, boom, put it down. Or if you're trying to resolve more uh, one drops next turn, like Boo and Bulma next turn, try to search for the, the Light of Hope trunks, the blue ones, so you can put as blue energy. Um, Alright, let me hold you on that one. So real quick, you pretty much hit up on two questions on one. Let's just recap the first one for the most. So on the most, the things you're looking for, I am reset is a bundle of curiosity Goku. Yeah. Bull your booze. Booze. Bulmas. Bulmas. What else? Uh, those are all like your little one drop replace themselves cards. I don't know anything else. So pretty much your recruiters. Alright. So now as you broke down, I'm not gonna repeat the stats because yeah, you just repeated it. So what's your take on blue green D? There is, in my opinion, there is three echelons of Vegeta. There is the mono blue Vegeta. Yeah. There is the blue green Vegeta, and there's your infamous thirteen one red blue Vegeta. Red, blue. Yeah. So go ahead and do me a favor and put that on the ranking system. All right, I would say mono blue is t is third, blue green is second, and then blue red is first. Uh, in in terms of speed of the game, like mono blue. Like, Vegeta's backside says gain uh, 7 blue energy to gain 10,000 crit. So you need to run, like, Objections and Whis. So you have to get, like, 7 energy. That takes a long time. And in this meta, the games are usually over by turn 5 and 6. So it's not that good of a play right now. Uh, Blue-green, it's really control-heavy, which is useful. But um, it can still kind of be slow. But it, it, it does its job. Now, blue-red, that is the fastest... Vegeta deck you'll get, like, you can win on turn 2 and 3. Like, it's super fast. But still, games usually end around 5 and 6, for the most part. What would you categorize my Vegeta as? It's not really mono blue, <laughs> but it is mono blue. Let's just say Vegeta dot deck. It's not in that category. It, it's an Eddie's own special, I guess. All right, cool. Love it. So, what are some, like, combos? Like, so what are some common mistakes that you see people make? Because I remember we came back from, I'm pretty sure it was ARG, was it Vegas? We came back, and the next day we started playtesting. Pretty much going in, and then someone has actually net decked your deck. Yeah. So, where are some common mistakes that you saw? Like you, you called me over, you called Philippe over, and we all saw you body him in like three seconds. So, um, what were the common mistakes you see when people actually use the blue green deck? A lot of people mess up their energy. They put too much green or put too much blue, and they didn't have enough for the their cards. You want to, like, that's another thing. You should put one energy, one turn, and alternate colors every turn. By turn four, you should have two colors. Uh, at two, two, two of each. So essentially, or when you put it down, you want to go first energy, blue, blue, green, green, blue, blue green. green. Yeah. So do you just stop at four, or do you keep I going? Always stop at four energy, 
unless I need the fifth energy for that specific turn. Like when I I see a play that I'm about to like win the game, I'm, I literally try to see if I can untap energy for every single card in my hand. Mm -hmm. By the end of the, the the final swing, I should have zero cards in my hand. Mm -hmm. And I usually have like 12, so it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be a huge number that you have to deal with it. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. So give us an example, like where you would go to actual five energy. All right, so five energy uh, would probably be when I'm trying to play triple strike trunks for game. And let's say they're at five H, five life or four life. Mm -hmm. I charge an energy that is usually probably a ten k that I can't use because by the end of the the hand dump, it won't. I won't have enough energy to tap for it anyways, mm -hmm. so it's just useless. So I just charge his energy. It doesn't really matter what color it is because um, you probably have untapped trunks in your hand, whatnot. What not. Um, and I just try to make the first swing go through with a huge number, but not too much to overextend. If they survive it, then their hand size got hurt a lot. If they don't survive it, you should be able to have a higher number for the second combo to the point where they can't combo out as well, and that's that's the final strike of the game. Mm -hmm. So what do you feel like... I mean, I actually pretty much the basics, where it's mulligans, where it's turn by turn. What do you feel like players should know that I haven't specifically asked you about the actual Vegeta deck, blue-green blue in specific? Blue-green... Um, you gotta know what card to play at the right time, usually. Uh, the, for the first few games, the first three turns of the game, you just wanna keep recruiting your cards, draw a card, place it on the board. Uh, around turn three and four and five, you need to look to telegraph in the future to see how to close out the game. You do not want the games lasting that long. Like, you don't, like, don't wanna just attack and see if your opponent like has an answer to it. You want to attack, combo a little bit, and see what they use to defend themselves. If they can or cannot, that tells a lot of information about what's in their hand. Like a lot of Frieza decks, I know that a lot of their hands is gonna be extra cards. So I combo a, like a decent number to see, okay, is this threatening to them or is it easily defendable? Like you start burning, burning certain cards like Sensu Beans, uh, their 10K boosts, negates. Like the moment you, you take crits and swing and they negate it, that means they're scared for the life. And you can just play around that and try to close out the game from there. Really does, man. So, any other last minute tips and tricks when I give the fans? <clears throat> um, don't overextend. That is a good thing you need to practice on when you're going uh, on those big combos. You don't want to dump half your hand. They survive it easily with, especially Jocko. That card really messes up people when we try to hand dump. Um, you wanted to just make the cards like Piccolo or whatever, it replaces itself. So you're not losing your hand advantage in any way, but they're gonna have to, to loot probably like two cards to, to defend against it. So you want to play cards like Untapped Trunks, Piccolo, um, Trompas, Sun Gotens that do added effects while they're being comboed. So you're getting two for one value out of these things. And see how your opponent reacts to those those cards. Alright man, sounds good. So any shout outs, announcements, or anything you want to give out before we close this video out? Um, shout outs to Eddie here for helping me. He's really good at uh, giving me, bouncing off ideas for Vegeta decks because, you know, the man himself loves Vegeta. Um, PPG, the crew, that they help me play tests all the time, bounce ideas off of. Uh, thanks for the, the fans. Subscribe. All right, guys. So if you want to, if you want me to come back with the champ himself with Vegeta, if you want to see next time a mono blue version, you could ask me. If you want to see a blue red version, his spicy blue red version that took what was it, Richmond by storm? I mean, I heard about this all the way back from Florida. Hey, Marcel's five. I'm sitting here asking every round, what did you do? I'm talking. About, the round started and literally not even five minutes goes by. I won. I'm like, dude, you serious? <laughs> so if you guys want to come back with part two, this time I wanted a breakdown of the blue red. Go ahead and put in the comment section below what version of Vegeta you want to see next. What questions I may have not asked today, you want to see me ask in the future, man. Go ahead and put all that stuff down in the comment below, man. And thanks you guys for watching, man. Signing out.